Glycoside tablets. Oral antidiabetic drug. Uses and side effects. Chemical structure. Class of drug. Sulfonylurea, antidiabetic, drug action, mode of action. Acts mainly by augmenting insulin secretion and is consequently effective only when some residual pancreatic beta cell activity is present. Medicinal forms. Tablet, modified release tablet. Some brands available. Zycron, Diamicron, Bilzona, Decatus, Loglida, Nasdal, Vital. Indication. Type 2 diabetes mellitus. Dosage. By mouth using immediate release medicines. Adult initially 40 to 80 mg daily. Adjusted according to response. Increased if necessary up to 160 mg once daily. Dose to be taken with breakfast. Doses higher than 160 mg to be given in divided doses. Maximum 320 mg per day. Child 12 to 17 years initially 20 mg once daily. Adjusted according to response. Increased if necessary up to 160 mg once daily max. Per dose 160 mg twice daily dose to be taken with breakfast. By mouth using modified release medicines. Adult initially 30 mg daily. Dose to be taken with breakfast. Adjust dose according to response every 4 weeks. After 2 weeks if no decrease in blood glucose. Maximum 120 mg per day. Unlicensed use. Not licensed for use in children. Contraindications. Presence of ketoacidosis, acute porphyria. Cautions. Can encourage weight gain. Use with caution in G6PD deficiency. Interactions chloramphenicol. Increases the exposure to glycoside. Rifampicin. Decreases the exposure to glycoside. Metroleptin. Increases the risk of hypoglycemia when given with glycoside. Myconazole. Increases the exposure to glycoside. Clarithromycin. Slightly increases the exposure to glycoside. Fluconazole. Increases the exposure to glycoside. Side effects of glycoside, abdominal pain, diarrhea, hypoglycemia, nausea, vomiting. Use of glycoside in pregnancy. The use of sulfonylureas in pregnancy should generally be avoided because of the risk of neonatal hypoglycemia. Use of glycoside in breastfeeding mothers. Avoid use in breastfeeding due to the theoretical possibility of hypoglycemia in the infant. Hepatic impairment. Manufacturer's advice to avoid in severe impairment, increased risk of hypoglycemia. Renal impairment. Glycoside, which is principally metabolized in the liver, can be used in renal impairment but should be used with care in those with mild to moderate renal impairment, because of the hazard of hypoglycemia. Care is required to use the lowest dose that adequately controls blood glucose. Avoid where possible in severe renal impairment. Patient and carer advice on the use of glycoside. Drivers need to be particularly careful to avoid hypoglycemia and should be warned of the problems. Other drugs in class. Glybenclamide, tolbutamide, glipizide, glimepiride. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.